What's up, my YouTube and YouTube producers? It is Tuki Beats, and today I've got a very short but very useful video for everyone that used FL Studio 12 or 11 or I don't know any previous version of FL Studio. But before we get into the video, please leave a like, please subscribe to the channel to join our great producer community we're building here. Take the notification bell to get notified when I upload, and I'll follow my Instagram at Tuki Beats with a Z because someone else saw my name. Let's get to my desk. Hey! Okay, so before we begin, and tying in perfectly with the subject of this video are these very cool mouse pads by Inside Audio. They have all of the shortcuts printed on them. I've mentioned them in the previous video, but they're very cool. Some of you guys already got them, so shout out to you guys. If you want to check those out, link will be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get to my screen, which will load up in about a second. Okay, so here it is, um, and the first series of shortcuts we're going to use or we're going to show you guys are the window shortcuts. I'm not talking about it being very difficult or anything, but these are still some very useful shortcuts you can use to access certain windows um, in a more efficient and faster way. So um, if you find yourself sometimes looking for a playlist or something like that, just press the F5 key and this will automatically uh, Put the playlist on top. Um, the F6 key will open the channel rack, so if you're ever looking for that, or it's also called the step, step sequencer or something like that. But yeah, the F6 key is definitely something I use a lot because um, I'm often looking for the channel rack and I can't find it anywhere and it's below some kind of plugin window or something. Just press the F6 key and it will pop up on top. Um, the F7 key will load up the piano roll, which is also very useful because I often find myself clicking, uh, right click and then send to piano roll. So uh, F7 key to just load up the piano roll if you really need to access it very quickly. Um, it's something, yeah, if you're used to clicking, right now clicking will probably be faster, but if you just learn these shortcuts, your workflow will definitely get a lot faster. I'm serious, like I learned these shortcuts and right now I feel like I'm I'm totally on another level with the entire DAW, like I, 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 I don't know, I really know what I'm doing instead of just clicking, I just can switch between my different windows very swiftly and all that stuff. So um, yeah, F8 key opens the plugin picker, although I don't really use this function, I don't know, it's just because I'm used to uh, opening the channel rack and then adding my plugin uh, to this classic way, I don't know what you guys are used to, let me know. And the F9 key uh, opens the mixer track, which is also a very useful and quick shortcut to, yeah, quickly access your mixer track. Hey. Okay, so the next series of shortcuts is very useful and will be used in the piano roll. So to open the piano roll, we press the F7 key and we can see that there are no notes highlighted right now. That's because I'm in a wrong pattern. So let me just open the melody pattern or something like that. Maybe let me open this one. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing this. Okay. So here is an example of a piano roll uh, melody and there are a lot of shortcuts you can use to edit these kind of notes. So for example, if you want to select every note you have, you press Ctrl A as you would uh, selecting things on your PC or something like that. And then if you want to duplicate it, you have two options, you can press Ctrl B and it will automatically duplicate it. Um, next to each other but if I press Ctrl Z to reverse that and if I hold down shift and drag I can also duplicate the notes that I've selected which is a, which is a very useful thing I use the shift and drag all the time you can also uh, do that in the playlist section actually you can hold down shift drag something and you have a second instance of that window or that pattern or those series of notes or I don't know you can really use the shift very 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 well instead of control copy control uh, paste again I don't know just use the shift or the control B option to duplicate notes you're working on uh, then if you have uh, played any notes into your piano roll and you think they're not really aligned very well I need to quantize them you just select every note you have alt Q after that and you'll see the quantizer pop up instead of having to look for it in the settings or in the options button you just open the quantizer like this press accept and it will try to set your notes or align your notes up with the uh, current uh, rhythm you have going on. So that's a very useful shortcut. Another very useful shortcut is 
holding down control uh, and then pressing an arrow up or an arrow down it will, and it will just shift the octave of your notes so for example right now the, the, the starting note here is uh, D7 if I press control and the up arrow it will be on D8 if I press down again control down control down it will shift an octave if I want to only shift it one specific or one note I just hold shift and press the arrows and it will move one specific uh, note up or down so that's very useful and again you can use that in the playlist as well so you, so you can select a little pattern here hold down shift and move it up or down depending on where you want it to go so those were very useful uh, piano roll and kind of note altering and pattern altering uh, shortcuts hey okay so the last series of little shortcuts will have to do with some kind of little extra things that I think are very useful so the first thing you can really really use are the plus and minus symbol which will select the pattern you are currently uh, that's currently active so if you look here in the top corner or right here uh, not corner in the top of the screen uh, or right here in the in the little new edition in Fast Studio 12 point something 12.5 something like that um, you can just press plus and it will just select the next pattern and minus to just go back so this is very useful because I often find myself wanting to put something into the playlist and then I've got the wrong pattern selected and I've got to look for it and it's like uh, I don't want to do that so plus and minus will just let you select the right pattern and especially with this new addition over on the left here you can definitely uh, use this very very well because you can actually see which pattern that's active instead of just reading the name over here so that's a very very useful thing. Um, another thing that is really useful for um, just increasing your uh increasing the swiftness of your workflow is pressing ctrl l to li link something to the mixer so for example imagine this wasn't linked to the mixer i could just press here i could just have this selected press ctrl l and it will link it to the first available mixer track so right now it's uh routed to track 19 while it was routed to number 12 in the first place i think so got to set that back right now because I'm actually working in a project but yeah those were all of the shortcuts that I really use a lot that I really um, yeah use on a daily basis when making beats so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know which shortcuts you guys use a lot I mean it's all about personal preference and workflow and all that stuff but I decided to show you guys how I use them and what I do with them so I hope it could help you guys out if you enjoyed this video please leave a like please subscribe to the channel to join our great previous community we're building here uh, follow my Instagram at with a Z and see you guys later thanks for watching peace